All right, everybody. In one experiment, 0 0.886 moles of NO is mixed with 0 0.503 moles of O2. Calculate which of the reactants is the limiting reagent, and then calculate also the number of moles of NO2 that's produced. So this is a limiting reactant problem because we are given both 0 0.503 moles of O2 and 0 0.886 moles of NO. We're given both amounts of our reactants. So we're going to set up two stoichiometry problems and only use the one that produces the lesser amount of our product. And since we're already starting with moles, 0 0.886 moles of NO and 0 0.503 moles of O2. Since we're already starting with our moles and they only want moles of NO2 in the end, this is only going to be a one-step stoichiometry problem. It's only going moles of, of one of our reactants to moles of one of our products. So we have nothing to do with mass, so we're just going to have one conversion factor for each of these calculations. We're just going to convert moles to moles. In the first problem, we're going to convert moles of NO, so we want to get rid of that, so it's going to go on the bottom, to moles of NO2. So that moles of NO cancel out. And then the other one, we're going to convert moles of O2 to also moles of NO2. So moles of O2 will cancel out. So just one step for each of these. And to do this, we only need the coefficients. So for the coefficient of NO, that would be 2. Okay, I got that from coefficient in front of NO. And then our coefficient for NO2 is also 2. Okay, that came from here. So that is how we will solve the first one. And then the second one, for O2, you can't really see the coefficient, but it is right here technically. It's a 1. We generally don't write those. In chemistry, though, we just leave it blank, and it's implied. But we'll put that 1 in our conversion factor down in the bottom. And then since we're converting to the same thing, we're calculating moles of NO2 in both of these problems, our coefficient up top, our conversion factor for the second problem, is also 2. So all our units will cancel out. And if we do the math for the top problem, we will have 0.886 times the top of our conversion factor, which is 2, divided by the bottom, which is also 2. And that is going to be exactly what we started with. We're going to have 0 0.886 moles of NO2 produced. That would be if all of our 0 0.886 moles of NO reacted. However, we have to solve for our oxygen how much it would produce of NO2 to see which one is less. So we have to do that math too. So in our calculator down here, we'd put 0 0.503 times the top of our conversion factor 2 divided by the bottom, which is 1, which we could skip if we wanted to. It's not going to change it. Hit equals, and we will get right about 1.0 one or about 1.006 so we'll round to about 1.01 so we solved both of these equations now we pick whichever one is less that's what we're actually going to get because once that amount has been produced all of that reactant is gone so there's no more reaction so what's smaller 0 0.886 or 1.01 .01? well 0 0.886 is less than 1.01. .01. So we get 0 0.886 moles of NO2. That's what we would actually produce. And then finally, what is our limiting reagent then? Well, that's going to be 
NO. Our limiting reagent or limiting reactant is going to be NO because here is where we actually got our answer and that was using NO, 0.886 moles of it. So final answer, limiting reagent is NO and the number of moles of NO2 produced is 0.886. Alright everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.